Life is a battle between faith and reason. We live in the 21st century. For over the 200 years, we have lived a life based more on reason than on faith. It is because of uh, our civilization uh, started to give more importance with the Greeks onwards. Uh, more importance to reason and that led to science and technology. And as a result, what happened? The gods and goddesses, philosophy and faith were pushed back. And we have lost a lot by doing that, by suppressing our faith. Because faith can do everything, but reason cannot do that. You know, remember what uh, Jesus said, if you have faith, even like a mustard seed, he never said if you have faith like a pumpkin, that's impossible. But if you have a faith like a mustard seed, then you can move mountains. So what is faith? Faith is in believing, trusting the divine. We have to get back to that. But unfortunately, we have lost our sensibility to God. We cannot just relate to God, although we have printed that uh, on the dollar bill. Uh, in, a, in God, we trust. We only trust the dollar. So what can you do? This uh, technique uh, of midbrain tapping will help you in two ways. One, it will suppress your frontal lobe, which is reasoning, and then it will open your uh, midbrain that belongs to the domain of faith and unlimited possibilities. Let's go and do the technique. Tap, feel, tap, feel. Tap, feel. Tap, feel. Move up, tap. Feel, tap, feel, tap, feel, tap, feel, tap, feel. Now feel the entire brain exploding with energy. Feel the midbrain line starting from the bro chakra and going up. Feel it. Stay as much, as long as you want. God bless. I want to say something for the people who want to do the uh, July 16th program, the three, four day program. I personally look forward to do that because I'm going to teach things that uh, I have never taught before. And it is going to, I of course, give you a syllabus, 
and I will cover that, whatever it is, I don't remember now. But I will certainly cover that area of brain training. But the most important thing that I would do is how uh, to use Yantra. The Yantra is the uh, sacred geometry that you will draw on a copper sheet. and how you can lock in the divine energy inside, then it will be a workshop where I will guide you to draw and also at the right time and how to use it. And that's going to be the key. And then that we will work on the sacred geometry of Kubera, the banker in heaven, and how to bring him into the Yantra, into your consciousness. And, and we will start with Ganesha, who is the God who demands uh, first attention. <laughs>